Sup tubers, do you have bats that are roosting on the outside of your house, underneath the eaves, up high, and most of these roosting bats that you're gonna find, or that we have, because if you didn't have them, you wouldn't be here watching this video, is uh, they roost at night which is counterintuitive to what a lot of people learn about bats, thinking that bats roost during the day and then they go eating mosquitoes and bugs at night. Well, both of them are true actually, but at night they can't fly around from sunset to sunrise. They need to take a break. And so they're roosting on my house up in the corner here. I'll put a picture here so you can see where I've got them. I don't have pictures of them because you can't get them at night. And uh, I had one bat that I found, he was roosting kind of down low on the wall in the middle of the day. Uh, I left him alone and uh, he was gone the next time I went out to look for him. But I have solved the problem. I have gotten rid of my roosting bats and it's really easy. These are these bird repellent discs. I got them on Amazon. You get like 24 or something like that. There's different, different levels or quantities that you can buy these. And you've got to peel the blue plastic off of here and you got to stick them through the loops. And then it comes with a bunch of these little, uh, I call them uh, belt loop keychain rope hooks. Uh, if you're in the rodeo, you know what I'm talking about. If you're, if you hang your, if you hang your keys from your belt loops, you know what I'm talking about. But these are what you need. There's a couple of things that don't work. You cannot hang them vertically, like this, which I think these things are designed for, for birds. And I've I've experimented with this and played with this for two months. And I'm, I'm sure I know what I'm talking about. But you've got to, up in the eaves where the bats are roosting, you've got to put this in its place. So if the eave is like this, you've got to, you've got to string these things horizontally in place of where those bats are going. You can't be more than a half of an inch off of the vertical wall because the bats will just be able to get in behind there and these won't bother them. You got to get this in their face. Now, I use the staple gun, uh, electrician staple gun. It's got round staples so you can staple, you know, cables on the house without pinching the cables. You probably don't have one of those. You can use hooks, you can use screws, you can use nails, whatever you need to do, depending on whether you've got stucco or wood uh, or hardy plank siding. Uh, but this will get rid of the bats. Now, let me show you a couple pictures of 
some pictures and some video of where I've had the problem on my house and how I have hung these and they're working. I had to take this down just for this video. I'm gonna go put it back up right away. There we are. And no droppings. I can't remember how many days it's been since I've seen bat droppings here. I'm about ready to call it as successful. Let's go check out the back. And here's a picture of the uh, back patio. droppings no droppings and you can see look real closer you can see where it kind of just dribbles down the wall I'm really close I'm about ready to call it as successful all right man that's how you get rid of roosting bats Hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'm solving all the world's problems one thing at a time. <laughs> Check out a lot of my other videos and here at the end somewheres I'll put a link to all my helpful tips and hints and how-tos. <laughs> See ya.